Hallo. Hallo, dit is Sophie Lawson van sophielawson.com en dit is een click look video waar we click look at various art books and magazines. Little Derek the Donkey is with us today, which means it's time to look at another Imagine FX magazine from the year of 2021. And this is the latest issue. It just it came from my letterbox yesterday, and I finally got round to, it, to having a look at it. But what happened yesterday was, I've already said it's a bit weird the way they Imagine FX send out their magazines because they put them in little bits of paper envelopes, which I think is a bit dangerous because it could get ruined but when it when I got it through the letterbox it was already opened so I actually had to stick it back down so I could see right inside I could it was a bit weird it made me feel a little bit as if somebody had been going through it already <laughs> but so far we've had these ones here which is issues 200 to 207 so this one here should be issue number 208 which I think is for Actually, it might be January 2, 2022. If that is the case, then it's not going to be a Derek the Donkey one. I'll have to think about that. But so far, my favourite cover was was this one, I think. Actually, if this is the, if this is a 2022 one, I'll have to do um, something different. Let's get into it anyway. Look, can you see how easy this opens up? It's already thingy. But what I loved, I loved this one here, which was issue 206, because it had a nice matte cover. So I'm hoping they do that again, because normally it's all glossy and shiny. And I don't like that, I prefer the matte ones. So if, if this is actually 2022, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make a video about my favourite covers from the last lot. So, so let's get into this then, little Derek's going to let us in. And the first thing you wonder is, is it a matte cover? And also, what colour is it? What colour do you reckon it is? I reckon it's going to be... Green. Proco is still on here. We've still got a little Proco. What have we got? Oh, oh yeah! It's a Final Fantasy one. How cool is that? I remember this from last, the last one. The Art of Final Fantasy 14. Look how, well, unfortunately it's a shiny one. But it's brilliant. I will say though, it's a little bit sort of... I prefer covers when it's just one character. So this is quite a different sort of cover really. These characters are cool though. Especially, look at a little round to that. That's the thing I love about Final Fantasy is the characters. My favourite Final Fantasy is little Ian, our little friend. We're starting to fall in love with Ian. What, one of the things I love, my favourite Final Fantasy was fa Final Fantasy 13. A lot of people didn't like that one, but I liked the characters. Lightning, Vanille, Fang. Three of the best characters that was. I actually did some drawing of those. The next one, issue 209, goes on sale, look, just before Christmas. 23rd of December. What's it all about? Animation. I like the look of the, um, the art for that one. Oh, look, they're still giving away free gifts for new subscribers. What about us? Faithful lot. Look at that. That would make a nice cover, wouldn't it? That is brilliant. Very Christmassy as well. This is the FX Pose A bit. Yeah, I'm starting to really like these FX Pose A's. Because you're getting like lots of different sort of art styles and stuff. The secret of concept art success. Yeah, this must be some bloke who did Final Fantasy. Yeah, look, Tetsu Tsukamoto, 
Final Fantasy character concept artist. Oh, look, look at this, look. It's brilliant. Look, we've actually got little... How cool is that, look? I've not played Final Fantasy XIV though. The online one. I prefer I prefer sort of story based games. Single player story games. Yay! Chucks Art Studio. <laughs> I like it when they get the the posing. He's quite happy there. I like that art art space. Look, he's got his digital on one side, traditional on the, on the other, and he's got loads of little things of a... Cool. Look, he's got little statues here, look. It's cool. One of my favourite things, that is. Comic comedy. Yay! Cool characters. Oh. No, that's beautiful. Crystals. I wonder if they've got that in Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, I love these two. Look at these two. Who's this look? Promotional art created for Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers 5.4 update. But it's like um, light versus dark. Sisters. Positive and negative. Sketches. Subbing Boykinov. I like these little bits of colour. Yeah, this is, a, this is somebody I'd look into. Here he is, look. His little face with his website and stuff. <laughs> Give him, look. Hello. Looks a little bit like Nathan Drake. L little bit. Final Fantasy. The Art of Final Fantasy Endwalker. Look. What a cool cast of characters. It's almost like each character's got a sort of colour with them. Uh, that reminds me of the artist Yumi. That's one of the things I love about Final Fantasy is the characters and the locations. I've always been like that. I've only completed one, two Final Fantasy. I've completed Final Fantasy seven. And Final Fantasy 13, Final Fantasy 13 2. What was the other one? Lightning Returns, the third one. I never finished that one because it had the, it had this time. It had a what you call it, time limit thing, a bit like the Zelda game, Majora's Mask. There was like a time limit. I don't like that when they do that because you sort of feel like rushed. When I play video games like that, I like to sort of take my time and explore so when you've got a time limit ticking away so it puts me off a bit enjoy painting in watercolours oh I like this artist look at her look there's a lady around the corner looks like her she works in the tattoo shop oh I look like this style Tristan Tate Improve your boss designs. <laughs> There's a little, um, some sort of little character running across there. Cool character, look. Lots of story going on here. Set up a modular art workflow. Little people. <laughs> Hello. Speed paint and mech design. Yeah, I like that. 
Oh, that, that seemed to be quite, um, go quite quickly, that one. We're on to the reviews. What have we got here, look? Procreate 5.2. Keep on updating it. 5 out of 5 it got. A 5th gen iPad or newer. 2nd gen iPad Air or newer. 4th or the iPad Pro. Manga Art Secrets, 3 out of 5. Drawing Perspective. Traditional Artist. I'm still waiting for the day when they go back to a nice like sketchbook type paper. FX Pose. Da -da -da. These are all traditional, these ones. The acrylic. These are all done with acrylics. Quite amazing. Oh, I like these. Pencil, ink and watercolour. That's nice. Paint a portrait part two. Sketching. Pencils and charcoal. It's cool, isn't it? First impressions. Look, little Zelda. Link from Zelda. Oh, I like that, huh? Da -da -da -da. Oh, nothing more than to live in a cottage in the English countryside. <laughs> and that's it. For some reason, that one sort of went a lot quicker than the other ones. I don't think it's still got 98 pages. Because I don't know if you've realised this, but every single Imagine FX magazine, for at least for the year 2021 and 2022, they've seemed to have stuck to a page limit of 98 pages. I wonder why they do that. Well, that was cool. So this might be the first one of... If this is the first of... 2022 I feel like it's quite a nice way to start it with video games and stuff and I hope you enjoyed that so this might be little Derek the Donkey's final outing for these who's going to be for doing the 2022s let's go and have a look I think actually hey, what about this guy <laughs> maybe maybe he'll do the 2021s he's a big massive penguin he sits on the sofa he does well i hope you enjoyed that and i shall see you later for another one